Hey again, I just want to make a quick video on uh, how to overclock uh, GeForce GT 710M. Uh, I'm currently running uh, Core i5 with 8 gigs of RAM and uh, the GT 710M. Um, <clears throat> so this is a very budgeting card, so you'll struggle uh, playing games like I'm running an instance of Arma at the moment. Uh, I'm getting about something like 40 FPS on medium settings. Which is okay, but, you know, with a little bit of tweaking, you can do a lot better. And since there are no uh, English videos of this on YouTube, I thought I'd just make one. Um, so the first thing you want to do is <laughs> focus your camera. There we go. Um, uh, you want to go uh, just Google MSI Afterburner. Uh, the second link will lead you to this site. Uh, and down here you have a list of all the builds. Um, so you just want to download the most recent one. So just click this, uh, and it will start your do download. Let's just wait for that to happen. There we go. So that's downloading. Um, and then once that's downloaded, all you have to do is uh, just install it as a normal program. Uh, and then when you open up, you should get a, um, once it's all installed, you should get a uh, interface like this. Um, so over here, uh, this shows your uh, clock speed, um, both your base clock speed and your boost. Uh, and when you first open this, uh, these will both be on zero. Um, so that will be your uh, factory clock speed because uh, they do not come overclocked by the factory. Uh, and then you have your temperature of your GPU core right here. Um, so simply to overclock, uh, you will just take these sliders, uh, and the core clock on the GT7M, you can just max out, uh, and you won't see a huge, huge increase in temperature. Uh, but the memory clock, if you up that all the way, it's going to crash um, very, very easily. Uh, so I usually have that running about plus 200. Uh, so you just make those edits. Uh, then the stick appears, uh, you just click that, uh, and that will uh, actually boost uh, your graphics performance. Uh, so you see here, this is my boost now. Um, so if I just show you the comparison, so let's set these back to zero. Or as close as we can get, zero, and minus five is fine. Okay, so if I just load up Arma, I have an instance running right now, you'll see that the FPS is about 44. I tab out. I go to MSI uh, Afterburner, uh, I up the core clock to maximum, uh, and the memory clock to about plus 200. Uh, let's go a little bit more, 215. Uh, you click tick, apply, then you'll load up, and it will be running about 54 FPS, which is a significant increase in FPS. So there we go, there you have it. So 45 to 54, that's an amazing improvement. Uh, the one issue that you do have is um, you need really good ventilation on your laptop. So currently I have a couple books sitting under here just so I have adequate airflow to compensate for the increase in heat that the overclock will actually cause. So you see there, just there, that's without the overclock. That's with the overclock. You see a bigger spike in heat. Um, so yeah, don't hold me liable if your laptop explodes because you didn't have adequate cooling. Uh, if you're getting incredibly high temperatures, you see these are pretty high, but this laptop just runs very hot, uh, even when it's at, uh, on normal settings. Um, so yeah, just be careful with it. Uh, if you're, you know, uh, if you're getting insane temperatures, as soon as you load up a game, it spikes to, uh, you know, 95 degrees, just the stop and leave it at the normal clock settings. So there we go. I hope you learned a little something. Uh, if you need uh, any further information, just message me in the comments. Uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but I can give you some advice. Once again, feedback is much appreciated, and uh, if you guys want to request a video, just ask me, and I'll throw one out there.